listen to me, all of you, and understand. There is nothing outside a human being which by going into him can make him unholy. But things which come from out inside, they are the things that make a person unholy. Because it is from inside that all evil thoughts and actions come. Genomonti. Ononcha. Rotan. Yemna guano. No, where you have born now? See, Nezia Batani Memado. Give me a god that is in our sophomore watcher. No, we have seen him in Madra Porta. Be in a meron madder. Macanobu Nimo be Cadre Chiche, Najo Mumenine, Siapota. Otito, Derege, so. You remember that we have been reading the gospel of Mark, which we began from chapter 1. Five Sundays ago, we interrupted the gospel of Mark and started reading the gospel of John. We stopped at Mark chapter 6. Where Jesus came and saw people, the crowds dejected and like sheep without a shepherd, and he began to teach them. After teaching them, he fed them. But before we started reading about the feeding, we interrupted and went to John chapter 6 began from where Jesus fed the hungry, and after feeding them, he taught them. Just last Sunday, we had the conclusion of that long teaching about the bread of life. I am the bread of life. The bread that come, came down from heaven. Anyone who eats this bread will have eternal life and I will raise him up on the last day. And unless you eat the bread, flesh, the bread that I will give is my flesh for the salvation of the world. And unless you eat my body or my flesh and drink my blood, you will not have life in you. And last Sunday we heard that some of his followers, when they heard this, said this was impossible and they left and stopped following him. And Jesus turned to the twelve and said, are you not going? And they answered, Where do we go? Even though we don't understand, your word will save us. Your word is our life. Chapter 6 ended that way, with the reaffirmation of the faith of the apostles in the word that comes from Jesus, which is the full revelation of God's word. And today we return to Mark, no longer chapter 6, but chapter 7. Chapter 7 from verse 1. In our Bible, in our Gia Nusuru Nusuru, on wigging Kija Gama, Ogging Wigi Hijeka, Manina Gia. Nejiko ihi gatara na 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 nke gatara na ozo maka ni ihe na enye nsogbo go fodo boburu na ekpoko gi honu na awota chakogia chapter 6 
of Mark's gospel ends with a story. That Jesus came out of the boat. Ocean of Ubomi Futa. Can the mother not know she knew Bomi Futa? Her new soy. And the little baby are there. The ten in there, Shiji. And he cured all of them. All those who were possessed, all those who were sick, Jesus healed all of them. And immediately after that, chapter 7, verse 1 tells us Pharisees and the scribes came from Jerusalem, who came from Jerusalem met Jesus. Jerusalem was the center of Jewish religion. And the Shindamar Mako and the Jew. She Jerusalem Badata, the Galilee Ebeje Sono. And those Mbahena, those Bohena Rute, no more at the Tundam Mada Jeso Gor, or to Tihe Jeso Kuzir, or to Torebo Jeso Nar. But what did they see? What did they notice? Kedihe Horo. They didn't notice Jesus. How do we Jesus not Orebo be? How do we Jesus? How do we Hong Nakis? Nehe Horobo no Mazia Quachada Gekaji Digidi. Can you imagine that? Somebody enters this cathedral now. He does not see the priest or the bishop, does not see the tabernacle, does not see the altar, does not see the cross. The only thing he sees, when this girl took here, they acquire no ye. Lord, on the youths. Kono mara na obro nenta abu go boshin do yuta achuchi me si ano yido ge kwa obezo kuko vas ipeto loka ihi zija ho bonye yido re kwa no ege yido ge kwa Jesus has sorry I'm sorry for you Why is it that you are focused on external things Gano patarno bihe o mena lana huenya gabuti wuchuku direct bununi ne kwishenya. Unan genenya de no mume madu. Don't you see the character? Don't you see the behavior? Don't you see the spirituality of a person that comes outside? All you want is to decorate hypocrisy in the web. Kitchen, everything okay, but inside your heart. And he says, because the Jews, normally in their custom, they don't eat without first washing their hands and their cups and everything. This is not about hygiene. Abugumaka hygiene. No, but tradition. God gave the Jews the Ten Commandments. Before Moses died, no nature has some implications. In his Ten Commandments are who will take. He won't get you could eat. I ain't not gonna catechism. Kedi he won't come book my bidder. Kedi ha mara ine won't come no kaime. Kedi he won't come tom and so on and so forth. Because every one of those commandments which are here, she can have for that. And some of those things, but he handed you ne me ogabu mena la he. Beautiful. But after a long time, I read the commandments. So they say he she ne commandment. Oh, we won't get you to go for that. Mako Dumanko Budu. Mako Menala. So the tradition became an obstacle to the commandments, even when some of those traditions were contradictory to the spirit of the commandments. Iwuchuku Chiru Kemadu Bleg Megbulin Wani E Shizye Naya Wufuti was a Jemegumad. That was why we had arrived. 
the rule about washing hands before eating and when they come back from the market and their cups and pots and so on were the two reasons. One, when the process of washing would make the person and And while you are washing your hands, you are praying to remind you that the food you are eating, even though it is the fruit of your labor, is a gift from God. That is why every Jew, before eating, would give blessing, bless the Lord. And so it is not just about washing hand. It is about preparing you to realize, to appreciate that the food you are about to eat is God's gift. And God warned the Jews, look, you are lucky. Moses says in the book of Deuteronomy that we just read, there is no other people whose God has given commandments so clear, full of love, and is near to guide. So, you have no excuse for being evil people. As you mix with the people, make sure you don't get contaminated by their practice and habits and religious life. Ununaije from town to town. Unekwele mo mena ale no momento zo bodo zo ga de go metete unu maybe me unu. So each time they mixed with the people, when they came to their house, washing themselves, washing their cups and pots, all those things, especially from the market, were symbol to purify themselves and examine themselves. Obruno unweru. Bad behavior. Hesi neka ndo zomuta. Biko chukuna. Unwa inja sachi iko akwache kanyi. Ekwele miha hotakra ni manye. Wash them away. But they left all that. They left their behavior and concentrated on cups and pots and hands. And Jesus tells us clearly. God is not deceived by external appearance. Abugihana huenya baja monye daso. Yes, your holiness, ida soga, must manifest itself outside in your behavior. The way you talk, the way you dress, the way you behave, the way you walk. All those things, Toshiribu, signs of your inner purity, inner holiness. Holiness is inside. And the work you have to do to be holy is inside. I'm going to a thunder room in a man, big boo. When the buy in a man, I've now. Cuculus non fecit monacum. The habit does not make the monk. Iho Rubene, Echare Mandabundo sister, Nenda Tuku here, Ejele Yeche Konya Yakwa sister, Makanon were in the Gaboga sister, Mehene Yakwa sister, Penta, Nichalu de Nijaho, Velen Kehena Kunal. Sister. There are many of them in this diocese and in this parish. And don't wear the sister. Ganage ye habit. They dress like any other woman, but help on the sister. So no buga kwa. Beja maunyebu monk. Mobu father, mobu sister. Now by ignore dum pa. No dure queen e ye gane goshikwe drum do in ebu. The habits are important if they show your inner disposition. But they are hypocritical if they hide your true nature. Akwanda ba yesero. 
Nando Kwaya. Ekwe Mega and Marandabo graduate. Makana Hele Yehud undergraduate. Group. Mende Mechanic. Ekwe Mega and Marandabo Ndera. Makana Kwa Hele Dachich. Obgezokuno. Mane Mbonyera Memeru Mme. E Marno Bonyera. Mechanic Memo Mme. E Marno Mechanic. Ya be Joseph na Gwanyi Lenta. E e e chile na obuha na ahwenya abuhe de nkpa. Psalm 24 verse 3 asks a question. Onye ga bata na ugu nke di nwenu who shall come into the unto the mountain of the Lord? And the answer is the person with clean hands and a pure heart. A clean hand. Gabugan ka kwacha ra kwacha. No be ka docha no do no wegi heshi ni me madu futane ka ho gada atite. Verse 4 of Psalm 24. The person with a clean hand, with clean hands and a pure heart is the person who will enter the presence of the Lord. Because that person with a pure heart will not bear false witness, will not take another person's things, will not envy another person. Only such a person can enter in the presence of the Lord. And Jesus repeats the same teaching, Matthew chapter 5 verse 8, Blessed are the pure in heart because they shall enter the presence of the Lord. They will see God. Holiness is about your heart. And when we say heart, it is not just a group or the heart of emotions. For the Jews, just like our Igbo people and many old traditions, the heart is not just the seat of emotions, but the seat of moral decisions and important deep thought. Ndibo signe madubo nyo bojo. Mabnu biye docha. It gushuiz no nya abu nya jom madu. Mabnu abu nya zibo madu. So the heart here is the whole of the inside of a person. When King David committed the two grievous sins against God's commandments, the sick, against the sixth commandment, adultery, and against the fifth commandment, murder, David, and the prophet Nathan confronted him and reminded him, Showed him the gravity of his offense. David wept in Psalm 51. And one of the things he begged God was, A pure heart create in me, O Lord. Inside. Because Nehman Werikene Eje Eche the clean. And Jesus is reminding us it is the inside. Do you remember the warning God gave to Samuel in the first book of Samuel, chapter 16, verse 7? When Samuel went to anoint the sons of Jesse, and one of them came out very beautiful, very elegant, and very tall. And Samuel thought, yes, now I have seen the person who will be king over Israel. And God told him, take no look of his appearance. Because man looks at appearances, but God looks into the heart. In the Lenya and Kay and Madonna, where ya, Macanobo, E. Henoni Mobu, Nature Mado, Eba Ben Subuli, Lesia Futa. Every sin and every good action. Begin from the heart. Begin from inside. 
St. James warns us. In the letter of James, chapter 4, verse 1. From where do all these wars and quarrels among you begin? Is it not from within you? Oh, Buguchi, or something. Inside you, you desire something and you can't get it and you are prepared to kill. Now, Jesus is inviting all of us to look inwards. Examine ourselves. Clean ourselves inside. In some parts of the gospel, you will hear him say, don't neglect the outside. No, I'm not saying you neglect the outside. I'm only saying you have to start inside and then come out. Don't let you hear and Simple and short. Begin from inside the cleaning job. Holiness is an inside job and it is difficult. How do you go where? I'm going to go Because one year before he share in how many months before he That is it is not about the external signs. But And that is why for all of us, the youths, the mothers, the fathers, priests, sisters, brothers and monks, our job is to clean ourselves inside. Aibambo do chanime because James will tell us that if you are holy and it is not seen, it is useless. And it is not possible to be holy and it is not seen. It is possible to be externally look like a holy person and you are not holy. Madam Werike, you finger rosary, wear a scapula, wear a cross, you be buri helile, me me. No, born no adoro. Mano nye bezibo mado. Na atu chuku egu. Da asopuro mado. Furu chuku ye ne mado na enya. Ana ahuya ni huye every time. And that is the invitation that we all receive today. Let our holiness, our religion, not just be about what can be seen. Man, at this country, when you look at the houses, I wonder, we like to show externally that we are fine when inside we are dirty. If you are passing any house in Nigeria, you look at it from outside, you think it is a very beautiful house. Hey, Ulonka, Maka. But when you enter, if you open the door, the first thing you hear is a ka 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 ra 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 because the door is not opening. He gave me a window. O chikpo leke gneka. He said me ikpo me tap nijer inside the restroom. Mu nishi mbe le ushe because nothing is done well. Mano ina aga he outside. Hey, o long ka ma ka. Ije ben docha. Ni ngweri ke ga he te no lo. Iche no bo le chikpo re chikpo. Me ni baya ni me. 
it is more important for us to keep the inside clean and from inside bring out goodness. Anytime an external show of religion is not a manifestation of internal purity and holiness, it is hypocrisy and deception. And Jesus says, there is no hope for hypocrites because they can't be helped. I know there is a chiku. Can do any. Borom doi dasa. In case she need me, afuta. Ana afu yanya. Umo koro bi any. No ma baba bi the youths. We know the challenges. We discussed your challenges yesterday and the day before. But you have to know also that even if only a few of you are making the efforts to be holy inside and to be pure inside, you will be able to touch the lives of many people. The same thing with our mothers. Jesu. So in spite of all the challenges, we thank God for giving us the guidelines in his commandments, in his laws about love. And may everything that we derive from that as tradition in the church and also in our towns be true manifestations of God's love and not an obstacle to true worship of God and love of neighbor. Amen.